Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and uh, here's a little something that might help some of you. Uh, it's important, if you have no problems, you don't do anything, you don't touch anything, and you do not remove whatever I am talking about here. This is only for people that cannot activate Windows 10 on a OEM machine. That's a Dell, a, an HP, an Asus, a Acer, a machine that is a purchased machine that already had Windows on it. There is a little something that might affect some of you if you, for example, would reinstall Windows and need to activate. And this goes all the way back to January when there was a cumulative update with bug fixes. One of the bug fixes was to help people that had OEM machines fix a activation problem. So some of you in January after the bug fixing update, I uh, started to see that your machine was not activated anymore and that it didn't work. And, you know, when you reactivate it, it would deactivate again. So they fixed the problem about the machines that were deactivating. But the problem is that it created a area where if you are not activated and that update is installed, you cannot activate. So you got to activate this before that update is actually installed. It's a very weird issue. It does not affect anybody that has Windows without the updates until January. It's really just the bug fixing updates of January that did this. So what happens is that you have a update that was the bug fixing update that arrived somewhere in late uh, January, early February. Uh, in my case, if I look at the update history, in other updates, you have it. I have it for February 2nd here. It's the KB4598291 that is a problem. This is the one you want to uninstall. Problem is that if you go through uninstall updates, that update does not show up in here for most people. So what happens is that um, you are stuck without the possibility to uninstall it from the updates here. What you need to do, and this is how you're going to tackle this problem, is you need to uh, issue a command prompt. And you need to type the command that I have here, which is WUSA space forward slash uninstall space forward slash KB colon Four five nine eight two nine one. That's the only way that you can install it manually through the command prompt. I will put this full command line um, command here for uninstall in the description below the video, so you can just copy and paste it in your command prompt and and, and actually uninstall it. What will happen once this is uninstalled? What you're going to have is the ability to finally activate Windows 10 again because it will understand that you are a valid key because the, re the, the problem that it gets with this error is that the key isn't valid and that the digital key cannot be activated because it's not a valid key. So um, a uh, little thing that you need to do is here. So once again, this affects only uh, a small number of people with OEM machines and specific OEM machines. Once again, if you have no problems, you don't do anything and you don't touch anything and you don't uninstall anything. This is only if you are in Windows 10 on a OEM machine, you reinstalled or something happened and you need to activate Windows and it says that it's not a valid digital license. Uninstall this update and activate. Your machine will activate once this update is gone. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.